Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a video about how to design a YouTube video thumbnail, uh, which is very important and it, it makes a huge impact on the YouTube videos. Um, so let's get started. If you guys are new to our channel, consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos on our channel. On this channel, I do a lot of videos about uh, technological reviews, device uh, reviews. Um, my wife on this channel does uh, videos about cooking delicious recipes. And today I'm going to post a video in about this Photoshop tutorial section. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so I just posted a video about how to design uh, the cosmic text or glowy text effect. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a thumbnail, a video thumbnail for this particular video which I posted already. Um, so for this what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use a screenshot of this uh this window right there uh because that i i want my users to see that i was using photoshop and designing this so it gives them more realistic uh, idea about the video so to simply take a screenshot in windows all you gotta do is if you have windows 10 you have to press uh the windows shift and s button together s as in small so windows shift and s once you Press the button the screen will turn this all you gotta do is uh, capture whatever you want I'll take this for now it's recorded uh, it's captured now what I would do is um, I have uh, developed a lot of thumbnails um, already uh, like I posted this video about the Fitbit Versa and I, I designed this particular uh, thumbnail so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hide this these are all the thumbnails which I have designed and I am I'm pretty organized I usually keep everything in one file so it's easier to get uh, so I have made um, two borders if you can see right here thin border and thick border so this is a thin border just a little bit of black bezel around here uh, which I use for some videos, especially if the cooking videos. Uh, I'm going to use the thick border. So for the thick border, all I did was uh, I draw rectangles and just align them at the edge. So they look uh, just like this. So here I'll show you. So this is uh, a rectangle. You can see. There you go. And I just placed it right at the edge. And I, I drew four rectangles like that. And that, that's my border. You, there are other ways to make the border but I just use this one because uh, I, I can place things underneath it as well um, that will make sense once you start designing uh, but that's the border and I'm just gonna pick one random um, thumbnail which I did already I'm gonna rename it as uh, cosmic cosmic text effect now in this uh, I'll just open this up I did this already so I'm gonna hide this uh, all the layers which I don't need now I have already uh, captured a screen which I'll be posting right here so if you hit control V as in Victor it just selects the item which was previously in the clipboard which I did by pressing Windows Shift and S is in small uh, and there you go now I'll hit Control T which is for transform and then I'll just uh, I don't want this to go underneath the border so I'll just put it out uh, like just right at the edge of the border now this side doesn't really matter because should be okay now this is the main part which I want my users to see but it's it's very small so what i did was i actually saved a copy of this image which i designed and i'm gonna pick that up so this is that image which i designed so now i'm gonna drag and drop it in the uh, in the photoshop uh, and i can kind of adjust it so that it, it fills out the space instead of that small image now this looks uh, pretty awesome Okay. It looks like as if uh, I had been designing this image in the Photoshop. 
Uh, now I'm what I'm gonna do now is um, I have this uh, Photoshop logo already uh, gotten into this file. I'm gonna place it at the corner, just somewhere around here. So it shows that this is the Photoshop software I was using. Uh, I usually use uh, a same design for text, which I personally like. This is more like more of like a metallic web 2.0 design which I usually use for all my um, thumbnail designs I'm just gonna change the text um, just to give you a heads up for this particular text effect I have used the stroke which you can see it's a black color stroke the inner glow uh, the the inner glow would not really make a difference because you can't see I have applied the gradient effect right here which is this metallic effect you see right here uh, the outer glow which is the outer glow it's it's very minimal you can barely see but if I hide it it's quite kind of visible so this is the text effect which I use now all I have to do is just change the text so I'll use uh, cosmic text tutorial all right um, I'll just center it up now I usually like to highlight the content um, which I am using so I I have a preset arrow um, and I just use it I like this arrow it's a free one available from Google and I just applied uh, stroke and outer glow to it and I'm gonna change the orientation so hit control T as in tr transform and then rotate it and I'll just apply it somewhere around here so it's it's more of call to action kind of thing where it shows that with Photoshop you can do design this kind of uh, image so that's pretty much it uh, that's how I make um, the thumbnails for uh, YouTube videos uh, one other thing I would recommend you guys is the size so we'll go in the file info right here and I'm I'm using the image size as 1080 by 594 you can use your custom ones but I would suggest you to stay somewhere around here so if a user is uh, using a big screen like a desktop or a television the thumbnail won't get distorted because because if you use a smaller size the thumbnail is gonna be distorted so this is a pretty decent size it's gonna work uh, fairly okay in a mobile uh, a tablet uh, a TV or a desktop view so I like this particular size and that's why I use it I hope you guys found this video helpful I'm gonna save this uh, as an JPEG and gonna upload it on the YouTube video which I'll be posting pretty soon so I hope you guys found this video helpful uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, leave a comment down below if you find this uh, video helpful uh, stay tuned i'm gonna see you guys in the next video signing out bye